G'day you cheeky dogs, my name's Monkey and I'm an Aussie currently living in America. Today's video is going to be my top 20 WTF moments from season 3B of Bluey. If you haven't watched season 3B yet, oh my goodness, this was by far and away I think the best section of season 3 in total. Even though it was only 11 episodes, there were some insane moments. So these 20 WTF moments are everything from the OMG moments to that's amazing to ah, what were they thinking, that's crazy, the most Aussiest things, as well as there's no way that Disney's ever gonna put that in there moments as well. So I'm so excited to share that with you. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that button down below as well as that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey content. With that all being said, let's just jump into number 20. In musical statues, we find out Bluey's favorite song is a techno song called I Love Cereal. Overall, this episode was also really funny. There were some really cool dance moves from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. But I think the most interesting moment was finding out Bluey's favorite song. Number 19 was from the episode Trade when we find out our first reference to swear words in the Bluey verse. We find out that both Chili and Bandit have cursed before. Chili when she broke the dishwasher and Bandit when he couldn't get the mower to start. And it's linked up to what the tradies also say and call each other. So it's very likely that the word starts with C, I think, because that's a very iconic swear word in Australia. See you next Thursday! Number 18 was from the episode Smoochy Kiss and it was our first ever look at Baby Bingo. On the hallway which is also the first time we've seen this hallway ever in the show, we saw a picture of Baby Bluey, but also just underneath it, Baby Bingo with her little rabbit floppy as well. Number 17 was from the episode Granny Mobile, and that was finding out that Doreen is a widow and that her husband, who is most likely passed away, was called Len. We can tell that they liked to fish together, that Len liked golfing, cricket, and perhaps was a smoker because there is an ashtray there, and perhaps that's how he passed away as well. Number 16 is also from Granny Mobile, and it is the iconic royal wedding plate. The commemorative plate of Prince Charles and Princess Diana getting married. It was one of the most publicized weddings in Australia. We're super big on the royal family, even though we're so far away from the UK. But this was just so iconic. And the fact that they also made the dogs King Charles Spaniels, so King Charles, Prince Charles, you get it? That just made it even more amazing. Number 15 was from the episode Space and it was our first look at Toddler Mackenzie. This episode honestly overall should be a whole WTF by itself, but just that one point when we saw Toddler Mackenzie, I remember I was so shocked and he was so cute, but also it was so heartbreaking that scene as well. Number 14 was from the episode Puppets and it was the iconic line of Unicorn saying, my life is a lie. And him having an existential crisis, realizing that he himself is a puppet, which of course leads into the whole episode of are we all just puppets as well. Number 13 was from the episode stories and that would be Major Tom as a character in general. So the fact that he was voiced by Lin-Manuel Miranda was amazing but the fact that he even had a voice, of course, was also very surprising because so far in the Blueyverse, only dogs have been able to speak, no other animal. So this is the first time we ever hear another animal speaking. And of course, him popping in through the window at the end and scaring the bejeebas out of Coco was absolutely hilarious. Number 12 was from the episode Tradies and it was the iconic Australian green ute. The minute I saw this, I just wanted to yell out, OMG, that's Australia because Tradies as a whole was just a whole episode about Australian life, but that ute is iconic. It was a mixture of the AU Falcon and the Holden Lime Green mixed together. And it was confirmed by people from Ludo Studios that they had to mash the two up together because of legal reasons. Number 11 was from the episode Decider and it was Bandit's fur changed in color using the hair chalk that we saw in the episode Mini Bluey. But this time he changed it to support his team. So seeing him change it to Maroon to support the Maroons, the Queenslander team instead of Origin. But then even more surprisingly, that that end scene seeing him change it to yellow and green or green and gold which are the Australian colors having a little Australia on his tummy as well to support the Australian team was so amazing and just made me gasp out loud so if you've been enjoying this video so far don't forget to hit that like button down below because if you like Bluey as much as I do I want to know. Now let's get into the top 10. Number 10 would definitely have to go to Smoochy Kiss with Bandit peeing. Oh, that's it. Not only do we hear him peeing, but he has a whole joke about how he has peed on his foot. And for me, the minute I heard it, I knew straight away and I yelled out, Disney is not gonna allow this. Disney has a lot of censorship with a lot of things from different episodes and 
poop and pee or fart jokes is definitely one of them. So there's no way they're gonna let this in for sure. So that definitely makes it number 10 for me. Number nine is from the episode Granny Mobile and that is the introduction to the grouchiest granny we have ever met and that is the granny pug. She was one of the most iconic characters I think from this season. She was so angry, so grouchy and her interaction with Muffin was hilarious. It made us realize just how amazing Muffin really is. Number eight is from the episode Stories and that is the mid credits. If you didn't realize, four of those credits are actually puns. Two sets of them are animator puns and two sets of them are dog puns as well. And when you realize it and you start to read them out loud, they are so funny. And just this little extra detail just makes it so amazing and number eight for my list. Number seven is from the episode The Decider and that is the depiction of real life Australian Rugby League and Rugby Union. Not only did they show the teams and the colors that we have in real life in Australia, but the fact that they even showed the state of origin and what it's like for that third game, as well as the sort of Australia versus New Zealand rivalry. But the fact that they had the commentators from the real life games in this episode commentating the games as well just made it even more amazing. Number six would be from the episode stories and that is just Winton. Winton in general was one of the MVPs of this season. Everything he did in that episode was a WTF. From him becoming super muscly like Arnold Schwarzenegger to referencing Buzz Lightyear, Transformers, Doctor Strange. Every moment that he was on screen was an absolute brilliant moment and just made me gasp every single time that he did something different. Number five is from the episode Turtle Boy and that was the introduction of Dougie, but in particular the introduction of the first ever character to use sign language in the Bluey verse. Ludo Studios worked with Death Connect Australia to actually go into a family's home and watch them, how they interacted, how they used their sign language between the son and the mother so that they could accurately depict this in this episode. And even though Dougie and his mum only have four fingers, paws, they still managed to actually replicate real life sign language from Australia, even if they have to spell out a few words a little bit differently. Number four is from the episode episode puppets and that is the photos that we get in that episode. The first one being Chili being pregnant down at Sydney and the second one being Chili and Bandit's wedding photo which is the first time we've actually ever seen them wearing a real wedding dress and a tuxedo as well as the little dog bones. It was just an amazing picture both of them and such a WTF moment because we weren't expecting to see flashback moments really. Number three is from the episode Dirt and of course it is bald judo and bald Wendy. That moment when Wendy literally shaves off all of her fur was a epic reference to Britney Spears for sure but it was such an iconic moment and such a massive change for her character as well as for judo. Even the girls were shocked when they saw bald judo running towards them. Number two for me is definitely the Bluey fourth wall break and that was in the episode Puppets where at the end we see Bluey thinking that she's not a puppet and then it pulls out to see Joe Brum, the creator of Bluey's, hand actually animating Bluey. It was so incredible. Someone was able to also realize that this would take about three hours of animation that he was doing for this one little scene. So seeing that epic fourth wall break just really reinforced that the episode Puppets was basically an existential crisis on whether or not we're all puppets. And then that leads us to the number one WTF of Bluey season 3B. And if you haven't guessed it already, it is from the episode Onesies and it is just Auntie Brandy in general. She was the biggest WTF of the season. We knew we were gonna find out about her, but what we found out about her was just mind blowing. Not only do we find out that she hasn't talked to Chili for four years, but the reason behind it was due to the fact that she can't have kids even though she really wants to. And she held that against Chili and her family and couldn't be around them for that reason. I did a whole breakdown theory video about why she can't have kids. So if you're interested in checking it out, I'll leave it up here as well as a link down in the description and comments down below. But it was just so incredible and so heartbreaking, this scene. It was the one time that I literally just burst out in tears. You can see it on the live stream that I have as well. But for me, that easily is the number one WTF of this season 3B of Bluey. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below what your top five WTF moments were from Bluey season 3B. I just can't believe how intense this part of the season was. And it makes me so much more excited for season 3B. C, which I think we'll be getting at the end of this year. I also made a predictions video based on some of the images that we have about that as well. So again, I'll leave a link up the top and in the description box down below. Until then, I've picked out a few other videos for you cheeky dogs to watch and I'll see you in another video. Mwah! Bye!